A social cohesion workshop concluded at the New Amsterdam Town Hall yesterday. Nareem Ali reports. The Ministry of the Presidency's Department of Social Cohesion Regional Workshop came to a close yesterday, August 29th, at the New Amsterdam Town Hall. The workshop focused on unity in diversity by bridging the gaps in the communities. At the closing program, the coordinator of the event, Ms. Natasha Singh Lewis, made these remarks. We want that entry point, we worked for it, we got it, and now it is for us to go back to our communities and work. It is not an easy thing to do, but the Department of Social Cohesion will support you. In whatever little way we can, we will. Social Cohesion's strongest point is networking. And so, for many of our activities, especially we had one not so long ago in Edinburgh, a Relay Fest. We did it, it was successful. We had so many young people. And so I'm saying that to you to let you know that it doesn't have to be you alone. We will not leave you alone. Two of the participants then thanked the organizing team for bringing this type of training to Burbis. Most valuable information that will take, that we will take back to our community. I can promise, I'm putting my head on the box, promise that it will be successful and that you will be able to be proud of us, bringing us here, feeding us and giving us the materials so we will go back and implement what we have done. So on behalf of the people here, I would like to say a hearty thank you to Mr. Campbell and we will work together as a I've learned a lot for the two days. I've gained a lot and I'm promising the social cohesion that I'm going out there with their faith and my strength to build a new kanji. Channel 8 News spoke with three participants who shared their experiences over the two-day period. My name is Romaldi Wilberg. I'm from Langois Avenue. Well, this camp has taught us a lot about dealing with people in society, view as a leader, how you should behave, and the roles of a leader. Our group project, we are basically looking at youth's development. We are going to do a sport activity affair in which youths from our society, the Tree Talkburg, Angus Avenue, Smithfield, and around New Amsterdam will get a chance to do sports and lots of things. We are actually going to do a fundraising and we're asking the social cohesion department to, to also chip in and do something. Well, it helped us to be like in our job when we go into a job, the world of work. We're going to know how to deal with clients and people, the different races and cultural background. My name is Faith Ross and I'm from Tuckburg or Smithfield. Um, I must say that the experience that I've had here was very enlightening. What it has done is basically reinforce some of the things that we know, which is that basically if we want to move forward as a nation, as a country, we definitely need to work with the various groups, the various, the various communities, you know, to be successful in moving forward in the country. Um, we've learned that it's very important to not be or to, to not be judgmental. We ought to first work on ourselves. We need to master self. And from doing so, we'll be able to uh, look at the world from a different perspective, look at people differently, and basically be able to interact with them in a much better manner, which would actually promote social cohesion. Well, my name is Troy Morrison, and I'm from the Angus Avenue community. And basically what I have learned for the past two days is about leadership and social cohesion and how to get about doing things and today we had a group activity based on projects which we would like to implement implement in our community in the next two months to three months time and well this train will be beneficial to me as a young as a young person this train will be beneficial to me because it will it enhance me with the knowledge in going back to my community and help person to communicate and cooperate with each other not only to make my community a better, a better area, but also my country. And with the knowledge that I have gained today, I will go about sharing it with my peers and younger person. The members will continue to communicate with each other to implement a community project over the next few months. 
Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.